And Jane Philpott joins us from Strawberry Fields in Markham, Ontario. Uh, Jane, uh, you said at your news conference you want to get beyond partisan politics. You're arguing that it disconnects politicians from people. You want to run severed from financial and campaign support of a registered party. That seems a little bit like Neverland to me. What would it look like if implemented? Well, there is an incredible amount of enthusiasm here in the riding of Markham Stouffville. What people want most of all is someone that they can trust, someone that is prepared to collaborate with all members of parliament, willing to listen to all good ideas, both within the community and across the country. And it's true that the idea of independent members of parliament is not a concept that's been well tested or exercised in, the, in our country to date, but it, it is something that other countries have done a lot of. And I believe that the time has come for us to see how we can work better together and independent members of parliament are in the best position to be able to collaborate across party lines. So are you hoping the idea of an independence movement spreads beyond the two of you and to people who have been kicked out of their other caucuses? I mean, you sound like you want to make this something more widespread than just the two of you. Well, Don, I can't predict the future and where things will go from here, but I do hear from people that they are tired of hyper-partisanship. They're tired of parties arguing with each other all the time. They want to see politics done differently. And my focus right now is on the people of Markham Stouffville and finding out what they want for the future going forward beyond October 2019. So I'm going to focus on uh, getting out and talking to people, hearing what their concerns are, finding out how I can best represent them if they choose me to represent them in Ottawa. But I wouldn't be surprised if this causes others who are listening to your show to, to stop and think, hey, maybe I could be an independent candidate. I, I have things that I could do. I'm a, an ideas person. I'm a person who gets things done, but I don't fit into any of the parties. Mm. So why not have more people put themselves forward as independent candidates willing to collaborate with anyone and everyone who has good ideas and uh, has positive plans for our country? Speaking of collaboration, you you did uh, give a pretty exuberant shout out to Elizabeth May and the Green Party talking about climate change. Why didn't you even, or did you, toy with the idea of joining the Green Party? And, and if you, since you didn't, why not? That seems to be a natural home for a party that you know, seems to be on the move upwards in the polls. Well, you're absolutely right. I had several conversations with Elizabeth May. I think very highly of her. I think that the work that she and her party are doing on climate change is among the best work in the country. And, and anybody who leads this country in the future needs to make sure that the ideas of Elizabeth May and the Green Party are part of that. At the end of the day, even though I did give it serious consideration, I felt in my heart of hearts that I could not 100% say that I'm a, a Green member, uh, that I am uh, ready to, to put that label to on myself. I am in a point where I want to move beyond party politics. The people of Markham Stouffville want me to be able to be an independent voice now and hopefully they will uh, choose for me to be an independent voice for them in the future. But of course I will collaborate with Elizabeth and the Greens uh, and many others to take on these massive challenges that we're facing as a country and there's nothing that's more important than taking on climate change. I'd like to see this happen because it'd be just pure entertainment but if you're the balance of power, you and Jody Wilson-Raybould are the balance of power in a, in, a, in a parliament of the future, do you tend to lean liberal still or could you see yourself supporting a conservative party? Where do you see yourself on that fence? Well, Don, as you know, neither journalists nor politicians are very good at predicting the future. So I don't think there's anybody today that uh, can foresee exactly what things are going to look like on the evening of October the 21st. So I don't want to make any particular commitments about who I would or wouldn't work with. I will work with members of all parties on good ideas and good policies. So we'll see what the uh, situation looks like, what the will of the Canadian people is after the next federal election. And I will certainly uh, keep myself open. Open, and most of all, I will listen over the next number of months to the views of the people of Markham Stouffville as to who they would like me to collaborate with going forward. Now, you know family physicians have more impact on people's lives than independent MPs. I'm wondering how severe the temptation was to return to medical practice because, as we know, health care is a problem in your area in particular. 
Well, as you know, Don, I loved being a family doctor, and it's an amazing uh, uh, career. It's, uh, I, I enjoyed uh, the years that I was able to work as a family doctor. But I uh, would argue with you that I think even as an independent matter, m member of Parliament, I can actually have a significant impact. I've been talking in the House more as an independent member of Parliament than I did as a minister. I will be at a uh, committee tomorrow morning uh, proposing amendments for C-92. I will be speaking in the House tomorrow tomorrow evening on a, another private member's motion. There is all kinds of opportunity for an independent member of parliament to be heard. And uh, the media wants to hear what this independent member of parliament's views are on a range of issues, be that climate change, democratic reform, indigenous rights. Yeah. So I'm not uh, concerned about uh, getting my voice heard and being effective. That is my job for the people of Markham Stovall, and that's what I will do. All right, let's see what happens. Jane Philpott, thanks for joining us. We appreciate this. Thanks for coming to Markham.